Terry Hampton, reporter with the West Plains Daily Quill. I'm here today along with Quill Managing Editor Jerry Womack. We are awaiting the arrival of the 2013 West Plains Veterans Day Parade. We are filming from the upstairs of what many of us in town knew for many years as the office of optometrist Jack Hayes. It was, for many years before that, the model drugstore, and is soon to be the law offices of Melissa Stewart. The day today is a perfect day for a parade. The, the sun is shining, there are just a few clouds, and it's in the 50s. And it looks like we have um, are having a better day today than the forecast tomorrow. looks like it's going to be more like winter than fall. So we just have a beautiful day for it. There are lots of people downtown to see the, see the parade. And we'll be uh, coming up here in just a minute with the first uh, group of folks who will be in it, uh, the Grand Marshal and the Mayor. And and we will be starting um, in just a moment. Here's the beginning of the parade. The West Plains Police Department is starting off the lineup. Here's a Sheriff's Department vehicle along with the Missouri State Highway Patrol. The parade is sponsored today by the AMVETS Post 98. Uh, they are the host. That responsibility um, changes between the local veterans organizations each year. Next we have the 1138th Military Company Color Guard and followed by the West Plains High School Marching Band. Next up, we have the Grand Marshal of the parade. He is Korean War veteran Roy Schwitz. Mayor Jack Palman is coming down the street in a red convertible. Next, we have John Edgler who uh, actually is the organizer of the parade this year. I believe this gentleman in the flag car is Roy Schweitz, the Grand Marshal. AMVETS Post 98 float. John Edgler is a World War II veteran. He's retired from the 1138th Military Police Company in West Plains. We have the Veterans Honor Guard coming up. These gentlemen do a lot of good work throughout the year. They attend veterans funerals and other events. Next up are third and fourth grade students from the West Plains Elementary School marching in the parade to support our veterans. The parade started at exactly 11 a.m. at People's Park and it's making its way down West Main. 
They'll be heading around Court Square and disbanding at the Civic Center. I believe those were the third graders because here are a couple of young men holding a West Plains Elementary School fourth grade banner. Thanking our veterans. Veterans Day is always celebrated on the 11th day of the 11th month and any events that are officially associated with it start at 11 a.m. to commemorate the signing of the Treaty of Versailles which ended World War I. This vehicle from Oxford Healthcare. And next up we have a van with the disabled American veterans. The DAV and its auxiliary are represented in the parade. The Department of Veterans Affairs is represented as well, a very patriotic looking van. The West Plains Elks Lodge is represented with a float, followed by Richard's Rockets. We have some vintage tractors coming up next. American home care representatives are in the parade. And coming up we have the West Plains Car Club. Several vehicles decked out in the patriotic gear this morning.
West Plains Car Club, always an active group in town, very well represented. They brought out their red, white, and blue vehicles today. I believe that might have been the American Legion Post 23 float that just went by. And now we have the West Plains Fire Department represented. Followed by South Howe County EMS, an important part of our emergency services in the area. This is the American Legion and Auxiliary float just now going by. The American Red Cross is represented in the parade. I believe those gentlemen in the red jackets are members of the U.S. Marine Corps. And following that, we have the reenactment of the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. Ozark Spring Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. And the fire trucks. You might recognize them from the sirens. That was Howe County Rural Fire District. And there's the Pumpkin Center fire truck. Glenwood Mustangs are coming right up. And that is, I recognize the Glenwood Mustang band wearing the pink shirts today. Tammy Spratley is the music director. She does a great job out there at Glenwood. The West Plains Middle School Junior Beta Club. A group which has been doing a lot of activities in recent days. Joining us in the parade today.
We have the South Fork Elementary School. Their bright blue shirts this morning. West Plains Coca-Cola, thanking our veterans. Couple of awfully cute little kids in that purple vehicle, but they're not on my list, so I don't know who they are. But there's the First United Methodist Church van. I think we're nearing Ozarks Medical Center salutes our veterans. We have a military jeep. It's been restored. Looks like they're distributing candy to the many people who are lining the parade route today. several Jeeps. This is a perfect day for an open air ride. Next we have a float from the veterans group at MSU West Plains. And following that, typically what will be the end of the parade are representatives of the Pioneer Saddle Club.